Are you a vacation rental host spending hours each day responding to guest messages? Are you juggling multiple properties and struggling to keep everything organized? It's time to simplify your property management. So that's where Hospitable comes in. Hospitable is a leading property management software solution that automates guest communication and simplifies your entire hosting workflow so you can focus on growing your business. So imagine reducing your guest communication time by 90% while still getting them as renters. Set it up and running it just in one afternoon and automating all those tedious tasks you don't want to deal with yourself. Hospitable makes it all possible, whether you're a self-manager, co-host, or managing dozens of properties. In this video, we'll explore how Hospitable can transform your vacation rental business. We'll dive into its key features including automated guest messaging, unified inbox, channel manager, team collaboration tools, task management, and more. So we'll also share real-world success stories and explain why Hospitable is a no-brainer if you have more than two properties. Stay tuned to learn how Hospitable can help you automate, simplify, and scale your hosting business. You can see in here that a lot of hosts love Hospitable. They have, are actually a part of Top 100. They are a leader on several awards. So in this one, let's head over and then explore Hospitable. You can head over to their website, which is hospitable.com. And then after that, click on the Start Free option or to just get started for free. Let's click on that right here. And then in here, you should be able to register your account on Hospitable. And then just head over and then input the data that you want for this one. So I, I have actually already registered so i just need to head over and then just try to set up my account once you have actually registered you can head over to this part and i'll show you how to set up hospitable so to do that you just need to head over right here to your dashboard we have in here this setup steps and we have in here this one so as you can see it asked me to connect my airbnb account this is because i've chosen airbnb on the registration tour so if you have chosen Agoda or Booking.com, it will prompt you to connect your account on those respective platforms. So then right here, just click onto this and click onto the show me how option. And then after that, it should be able to actually show you how to connect your Airbnb. So if not, you can head over right here to your properties. And in here, click onto this connect with Airbnb, click onto this connect option, and then it will actually redirect you to airbnb website in order to connect your account on those so i have actually have it right here and then for this one i just need to make sure to create my profile i'll head over and then just do this later so you can just skip through or breeze through this entire process and just do this all together so just allow the connection between those two once you actually allow that, you should be able to see in here the listing that you have made onto your Airbnb. Then you can just choose the action, which is importing this property to Hospitable. Choose in here that listing and click on continue. Click on continue right here and as you can see, it should be able to be imported. So let's head over right here again onto our onboarding checklist. So you can just automate your guest communication. To do that, click onto this arrow right here. And then you just need to review your default messaging rules and then try to send an automatic message. Click on the show me how option in order to actually do this. To do that, have the word here to guest experience and we have in here our messaging rules. And you can click on this add new option right here or you can just input or just enable some right here. We also have in here this before booking, before check-in, staying, and as well as after checkout. We're also having here some review rules so you can have to read, just turn on some rules that Hospitable already made for you. So it's that easy, right? Hospitable already provided you with all of the things that you need for the rules right here. So we have in all here also some questions. 
So you can detect questions about specific question names like beach, airport, deposits, and the likes. And you can click onto that particular question in order to input right here an actual sample. So for example, this one is about air conditioning. So if your actual listing has air conditioning, you can input right here yes. And the work aircon is doing well. And then you can click onto this detect questions for that as well. So you can head over and then do this right here. So now let's focus on how to actually use it. So onto your dashboard, you can see in here all of the inquiries, all of the requests to book, all of the scheduled messages that you have, as well as the unassigned task. You can also see in here any check-ins that are actually scheduled, as well as any checkouts, and also all of the tasks that you need to actually take on while they're actually on your properties. So under the inbox, you can see in here all of the conversation that you can have on the renter. You can see in here all the messages. You can see on read messages, waiting reply, waiting review reply, resolve, and start messages right around here. Now, when you head over right here to your calendar, you can see the actual listing onto a particular property. You can click onto this property right here and you can just search by name or address and you can choose its property and you can see in here the calendar of that particular property so you can see if they're actually been booked onto that particular date how much they've been booked into and you can see in there the occupancy for that and you can see if it's available if it's blocked if a check in is available or if check out is available and the likes for example, you actually have something booked right here, but it's through third party. You can click onto this add booking option. And then you can just input right here the guest payment method, check in and check out date that you can actually have on your calendar, how many guests will be staying, as well as the payment of the actual guests. So for example, it's input right here, 1200 and for the cleaning fee, we have around 500 right here. Now we have in here some fees for community fees, best fee, and likes. You can input right here the guest name as well as their email, the language that they use, and if they have reservation code. You can click on the script booking, and as you can see, they have been added onto this particular booking right here. So as you can see, you can now block this particular stay since someone has already added or has already been reserved onto that particular date. Head over and click on save. And it should be able to be saved right here. Now, under your properties, you can see in here all the properties that you have. You can also see what or where this property has been posted. So, I have in here home in the sea. And as you can see, we have two listings for this for the entire home. And it's actually available on Hospitable as well as Airbnb. So, you can see if it's available on VRBO as well as Booking.com and also Agata and other things right here. Now, in here under the operations, you can see in here that you can activate turnover fee and you have in here some task rules, teammates, and in this way, you can actually automate some tasks using this one. Now, under the metrics, you can see in here the insights for your reservation, taxes, reviews, revenues, reservations, available nights, book nights, length of stay, and the likes. So you can see the actual analytics for your actual property so you can adjust it however you like. We also have in here some direct so you can go and then try to connect your direct website to hospitable to make it or to connect all those together. We also have in here the devices option and you can connect devices onto your smart home devices to hospitable in order to create and send smart lock codes, control property temperatures, and then monitor device. So as you can see, this is just not a booking platform. It can help manage your smart home wherever you are, even if you're not on the house. So if you're interested to learn more, you can head over to their website, which is hospitable.com. Then just get started for free in order to see their actual rates and how their software can help your business. So I will show you in here a lot of things as well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your network. You can subscribe to our channel for more insights on vacation rental management and hosting best practices. So I have a question. What are your biggest challenges with managing your vacation rental properties? Share your thoughts in the comment below. Thank you so much for watching.